Bye, Subi. See you next time with new shoes on, all right? Waiting for my Uber like, where is he? He's in the Camry, so just waiting, you know. Currently waiting at the airport. Um, I should be home soon. So when I get home, then you will see the news that I've been talking about in the last video. So we'll see what's going on when I get there. So I'm on my channel now and I just checked. I would like to see this increase really soon. So keep on viewing guys, keep on liking, keep on subscribing, keep on doing everything to make this channel grow. I really appreciate it. One thing I do apologize though is I'm not using my GoPro right now or for one week just because Lewis has it right now and he's gonna go to AutoCon and use that. So. If, I, if you see some glitches in the video, I do apologize for that. It's just because my phone has this weird feature on the camera, so... But I do apologize, guys. One more thing I noticed is... Look at the views of this 370Z Nismo. That's crazy. Like, literally just last... I think it was yesterday or two days ago, this was like 81,900 something. Now it's already 82,020. And same with this, this one's going up really fast. This one sorta is, but this one is the most. That's really crazy, guys. You must really like this video for some reason. And I come back and the weather is like freezing cold and raining. It's like, what is this? I come back from sunny niceness to like cold badness. So currently waiting right now my parents to pick me up like the child I am. So I don't know, hopefully, because they got confused where I am. So hopefully they find me. Well, we'll see. Uh, back at home and my car looks beautiful still. So guys, this is the car that I had in the beginning. This was my very first car. Uh, it was a Rabbit. This is for you guys who just subscribed. But this is the car I had and it was a Volkswagen Rabbit. Pretty much modified to look like a GTI. So that's why a lot of people thought, oh, nice GTI, but it's not a GTI. Um, currently it's raining, sort of. So that's why I'm not really gonna watch it today. I don't think tomorrow either, unless it really depends on the weather. But, as far as my dad's car, guys, this is what I was been talking about. So, this is also a Volkswagen Golf, four door, two thousand. Um, let me just show you the miles that I have that are on this car. So, this has. I'll tell you right now. Right there. Two hundred sixty-nine thousand four hundred seventeen miles. So pretty much 270,000. Um, now, there's an issue that I was talking about earlier, and it was about the shifter. Uh, so the so the issue with this, uh, it's really loose and reverse goes to first, and first gear goes to reverse. Everything is out of sync. So, you know, you have the clutch down, and it's like, look how, look how no, like loose and notchy this is right now. So obviously it's not supposed to be that. Uh, now, like if I go to first, it'll become reverse. And if I go, so for reverse on this car, you have to push down and go to first gear. It's, and it doesn't lock. See, it'll bounce back up, you hear that? So you're, it's supposed to stay when you push down and put it in reverse. So I happen to actually solve the issue of this car. Guys, it's actually drivable again. Not now, 
but I found out what the issue is and it happens to be it's like a shift linkage that goes from the shifter rod but I'll show you right now okay so the whole issue no it's not the transmission blown the engine still works everything still runs it's all about this this piece I'm pointing to right here this whole thing basically controls this whole rod to go back and to go forward now the thing is inside there there's like three teeth like this and they grab onto the rod like that the issue this is not doing that it's not grabbing onto that metal rod right there so like this it's not it's not really grabbing and that's the whole issue this is the short shifter i add like i install for my dad and if you push down and put it in that position that's reverse and you put it up you know it is just neutral it's like what i was doing earlier in the car with the lever pushing it down to reverse that's what i'm doing here pushing it down and putting it to reverse so the whole issue guys it's really it's just that piece and i happen to just order it from my dad now um so sit wrap as jeremy clarkson would say from top gear this is the issue not this so Thank God the tranny's not blown. That we that would have saved one or two thousand dollars or more. Um, car still runs. I just turned it on like a few minutes ago, but it's just that issue. So, not to worry. Golf still runs. Uh, 18 years and it's still gonna keep going. But as far as that car, I will see. I'll see tomorrow if I can do a cinematic shot like I told you guys I would. I need to see if it stops raining because LA was super sunny as you guys saw earlier in the video but now it's like it's it's like sort of raining and stuff well, it was like drizzling now but still but anyways uh, that's the update guys so really good productive day today um, finding out what the issue is but that's pretty much it for now guys uh, I'm just gonna go rest for the rest of today and just chill with my parents but I'll catch you guys later and I'll keep you guys up there as always. See ya. So guys, I just tightened this thing. I'm driving the Golf right now. And I just tightened that little piece that I showed you. It was like a little part. You just spin a little bit just for it to grab. So right now I'm in first gear and I'm just trying to see if that's exactly is the issue. So right now it seems like it's okay. Like it's back to normal. But I definitely can tell like that is the issue. But as of now, I mean, it can go into reverse. That was the whole issue that reverse gear didn't work. So reverse and first and everything is the same. So I just wanted to show you guys that before I actually end the video. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for now.